What's up, YouTube? Crazy Craig Seven here, and Alex B. Cookie. We're gonna be showing you guys our strategy today for Nuketown Zombies. Our basic uh, strategy for this was to run in circles in the backyard. If you got two people, like you can see right now on the screen, we would run a big circle in each of the backyards. Uh, things you want to look out for, though, are there's a little fence over here that you're going to see right now in the video. Um, in the, the corner of it, there's like an invisible barrier that you can get stuck on, so you got to watch out for that. And then on the other side, in the yellow house backyard, the pole under the stairs, uh, it, it'll grab you, I swear, and get you stuck on it and killed by zombies, so you got to watch out for that too. Uh, in the later rounds, you, you want to try not to get um, too many zombies in a group following you, because then no more will spawn on the map and when you kill them all up they're going to be spawning from every side so it's going to make running in a circle a lot more difficult okay so we're going to talk about drops right now um the magic drops like the nuke the times two the sail they're going to come out usually in the beginning of the round that's kind of like a pattern that you're going to see which is a good thing if you're um hoping to get ammo for the next round a lot of times while we were playing if we already had an upgraded gun we would save it and hope for ammo the next round. Um, again, like use this to your discretion because um, if you don't get ammo, then you're kind of screwed. So if you don't really know how to dodge and weave and get to the box, then it's going to be difficult for you guys to survive. Um, another thing is that we want to talk about is perks. Um, perks, we haven't really figured out how they drop yet, but all we know is that you're going to hear a really, really loud siren. And that siren will drop a perk somewhere on the map randomly. So the perk and the drop will be random. You don't know where it's going to drop and you don't know what perk is going to drop. So hopefully everybody will get Juggernaut in the um, earlier rounds because that's what you're going to need to survive. Um, another thing we want to talk about is the guns. Um, in our opinion, the ray gun is a really, really good gun to get in the later rounds. Probably by at least round 28 and 30. You want to hope that everybody on your team at least has a ray gun or at least somebody on your team has a ray gun. Um, another lifesaver is monkey bombs. And everybody who's been playing zombies knows this, that monkey bombs will save your life. If one of your partner is down, then you throw a monkey bomb and you can revive that person. You need to be careful though because um, zombies right now, they made a new thing that if you throw a monkey bomb, sometimes it won't work. And this is for real, like you'll hear a little girl laughing and when that happens the zombies won't um, group around the monkey bomb. So you may have to throw another one so please be careful and watch out for that and listen if you hear the little girl laughing the monkey bombs won't work. That's how we died in um, the, one of the rounds that we tried to do. Um, other than that uh, you also want to hope that everyone gets like a good gun like a light machine gun. Helps you rack up points a lot, but um, we want to tell you guys that a big thing in the later rounds is kill first, points later. Because you guys are going to have a lot of points by this time, so killing will give you 60 points per zombie. And just hitting them with, uh, with, uh, with your gun is only going to give you 10 points per hit. So killing them would be better, and it survivability Double with killing points. zombies is a lot higher. Um, Alright, well, that's it for uh, this tip video. We're going to try to make some more for you guys on the other maps, so stay tuned for that. Just like, comment, subscribe, and this is LXB Cookie and Crazy Craig 7. Peace! Peace.